An astonishing $200 billion worth of food is wasted, thrown out each year in the United States. 40% of it ending up in landfills. That creates methane gas, dangerous levels of it threatening the ozone layer. The state of California has said enough. Passing a law that requires its 30 million residents in cities across the state to reduce food and organic waste disposal in landfills by 75% by 2025. To stop dumping organic waste such as food scraps and yard clippings and wood scrap waste. The law also calls for 20% of edible food that food stores currently throw out to be set aside and collected and donated to people in need in the community. The city of Fresno in Central California is one municipality making progress by no longer wasting so much food. One example is a food to share program started by nonprofit Fresno Metro Ministry, collecting food from area stores and distributing it to families in this farming community where historically 20% of children here don't have enough food to eat. The executive director of the ministry, Keith Bergfold, says it's been shameful that farm-working families responsible for feeding the country are suffering food hardship and food insecurity themselves. You know, it's really important for people to understand that Fresno is situated in the midst of the most robust food-producing region in the world. And at the same time, Fresno has been ranked in the top five food hardship counties in the United States. Out of over 3,000 counties, we've been in the top five of food hardship. So we really got into food recovery and distribution, uh, tried to reduce food waste. And uh, all the food that's processed, about 40% of it ultimately gets wasted. 40%, which is, what, two or three hundred billion dollars worth of food in this country, right? and especially injurious in an area like Fresno where you have the highest uh, food producing. So what was the solution? It wasn't to complain about it, it was to create the logistics to solve the problem. So we decided to rescue food to get it to people who needed it. Vu Vey, lead driver for the ministry's Food to Share program, says she helps other families because she can't imagine, she says, her own children going hungry. I actually have four children. Um, I see the needs and the the food that, you know, in that many ways is just tremendous and, and how food changed people's life. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, the major sources of food waste in the United States are the food industry and consumers, caused simply by them throwing out food products that are less than perfect in appearance. Stores and consumers, says the FDA, should more carefully examine foods with sell-by dates because a lot of food can still be safely eaten a few days after these sell-by dates. The FDA says ways to avoid food wasting include don't buy more food than can be used before it spoils, plan meals and use shopping lists. Think about what you are buying and when it will be eaten. Check the fridge and pantry to avoid buying what you already have. Avoid impulse and bulk purchases, especially produce and dairy that have a limited shelf life. When eating out at restaurants, become a more mindful eater. If you're not terribly hungry, request smaller portions. Bring your leftovers home and refrigerate or freeze them within two hours. Keith Bergfold says the benefits of food recovery and food sharing are not felt just by homeless people, but working class families struggling from increased food prices or food inflation in the United States. Food inflation was 40% this last year. And so, uh, you know, average incomes didn't increase, especially for people that are on any type of relief or are marginally employed. So yeah, I think food inflation and food access and, and healthy food at a reasonable price is a huge issue. But the benefits are huge. To make sure kids and families eat so that they can be productive members of society and feel good about themselves, that's, that, there's no price you can put on that. For example, these Fresno residents lining up for food today outside this food pantry run by a local church. Many say they had only enough money to pay their rent this month and rely on this food sharing program to feed their families. Like Carlos here, a father and grandfather who says this food makes a big difference in feeding his family. 
So it's, it's a shame that they, uh, they throw it out. They throw it away. It's a shame. They give it to, give it to the people that need it, you know? A lot of people, they can't afford to pay the rent and like the electricity bill and stuff like that. How big is your family? Oh, it's a big family. Man. How many kids? I got uh, five kids. Yeah, I mean, this is what it means to love your neighbor, right? Volunteer Nancy Donitz says this food will feed more than 40 families with as many as 200 family members and says it's not right so much food is wasted in this country. It's, it's crazy, it's the way our society runs that stores can't sell certain foods after a certain time. The state of California says the other important benefit of not wasting so much food is less waste in landfills. The state's waste disposal law now requires its 30 million citizens and 58 different county governments and 500 municipalities to start making more conscious decisions when dumping the trash. Joseph Kalpakoff is president and CEO of Mid Valley Disposal, a longtime family run waste disposal company serving the Fresno region that has become an important player in helping residents properly dispose of organic waste and keep it out of landfills to lower levels of methane gas released into the environment. There are greenhouse gas emissions that get released um, and it's not great for our environment. Kalpakoff says now instead of hauling organic waste to a landfill, Mid Valley Disposal brings it here to its plant, turning it into compost, mountains of compost first sorting and then grinding down organic waste into a fine mulch that essentially ferments for 10 weeks under these massive Gore-Tex tarps. And because the compost is above ground, exposed to oxygen, it cannot produce methane gas, like organic waste, when buried underground. This plant is located outside of Fresno in the little town of Kerman, hence the name of the compost, Kerman's Best Organic Compost sold to farmers and citizen gardeners alike in this region. Recycling food waste, says Kalpakov, that is much healthier for the environment and people. You know, one of the interesting things that we get to see on our end is food that comes from the ground here, lettuce, and it goes to a grocery store, it gets put into a household uh, for a salad. The scraps of that are now put into a, a green cart. We're collecting that green cart, turning it around, putting it into uh, our compost facility is coming out 10 weeks later as an organic compost and the farmers are putting that back in their soil uh, to make that, that head of lettuce again. So it's a full closing the loop recycling. Hello. Another thing Keith Bergfold has done to combat food waste is to convince the local government to donate plots of land to neighborhoods for community gardens in part for parents to teach their kids what nutritional food is Apple tree. and where it comes from so they appreciate it more and don't waste it. These kids think that all these foods are just from the grocery store, they don't know from the source. And having the garden here, they know that everything is planted and it comes from the ground and you know, it's, it's the earth that's given to us, you know. Like here at Yeovil Community Garden and Farm in southwest Fresno, local resident Chris De Leon manages this land where 50 neighborhood families grow their own fresh fruit and vegetables. This is a seven and a half acre uh, community garden and urban farm uh, that was designed and planted uh, to create food security and food access in southwest Fresno. Chris says growing up, he too experienced food insecurity in low-income areas of Fresno inhabited by farm workers and others working minimum wage jobs, where healthy food was often not accessible, areas known as food deserts. We did experience a lot of food insecurity, but I mean, I, I lived in food desert areas, so so did everyone else around me. Um, and that was something that I didn't realize that was like, that was something that wasn't the norm uh, until I, I was in school and we were doing more like community health analysis. Um, we were looking at different statistics of different communities and that's when, like when I finally realized like, okay, this is an issue that's unique to our communities. He encourages other young people of his generation to start community gardens in their neighborhoods. So 
say get involved with uh, community gardens and urban farms nearby. See how you can get involved. Uh, investigate like what it's like in your cult in your like local area um, and how you can activate these these spaces to, to grow lots of food because um, you know I think the fear holds people back of like well I don't know how to grow food uh, but you just kind of have to get started you just have to put something in the ground and see what happens and to help lower the amount of organic waste going into landfills California officials say it's important to reduce waste disposal in landfills because right now this waste emits 20% of the state's methane, a climate super pollutant more potent than carbon dioxide. They say that reducing this waste, whether repurposing it as compost to put into the soil to grow food all over again, or by giving food to people who need it, instead of throwing it away, is a win-win for everyone and the environment. They're basically saying, we don't have enough room for all this in the landfills, and even if we did, it, it, it decomposes as an organic and produces methane gas, which is 20 times more toxic than uh, normal tailpipe emissions. So you really want to take care of this. So environmentally, it's important not to put food in the landfill. Bergfold says Fresno has become a national model on how to combat food waste. A rare issue, he says, that has brought this community together in divided times across the country. We work with everybody on the right, on the left, you know, in the middle. And we did that intentionally. And we chose food as a issue that would unite people, not divide people. And it's proven accurate. It, it has brought together, uh, you know, big uh, uh, industry and small uh, neighborhood people and small organizations. It's brought together, you know, conservatives and progressives. Uh, we don't know anybody that uh, is against reducing food waste and getting food to people who need it.